Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs video blog. My name is Erica and today I am reviewing the Freya Fern non-pouted balcony bra. So right now I've been in a little bit of weight fluctuation. I gained some weight over the last year and whenever you have any kind of fluctuation in weight it's kind of hard to determine sort of a baseline bra size. It's one of the reasons that fitters tend to encourage you to come in and be refit anytime you've either gained or lost some weight. Right now, I'm between band sizes. I'm between a 32 and a 34. I'm also between cup sizes. I'm somewhere between a 32H and double H and a 34 double G and H. So I'm in this nice little section where I'm not 100% sure exactly what my baseline bra size should be. But that's okay, that's pretty common, that's very normal for most people. So when I decided I wanted to review Freya, I opted for the 32 band and the H cup. Freya usually ran to me a little bit more generous compared to some of the other styles that I've tried in the past, and the bands were usually stretchier. So this turned out to be the right decision. The 32 is comfortable on the loosest set of hooks. The band feels nice and anchored to my body. It feels very secure, but also very comfortable at the same time. The cup size is right as well. I don't have any puckering or wrinkling or overflow, so I think 32H was the best size for me in this particular bra. I haven't reviewed a Freya in a while, if you notice, because I didn't completely get along with some of their classic fits. I think the last Freya review I did was of the Hero, which is a fantastic bra, and if you haven't seen that review, I highly recommend you check it out. However, some of the other styles, particularly like the plunge balcony style or the side support balcony style, they just were no longer getting my shape. I was having some issues where they would kind of force my breast tissue into a shape that wasn't quite natural, they might rub under the sides, something was always going wrong. It wasn't terrible, but it was enough little things that I decided I was going to take a break from them, particularly because I didn't want to keep reviewing the same exact bra frame over and over with the same exact critiques. Really all I would be doing at that point is analyzing the new fabrics or the colors. However, I heard that Freya had retooled some of their classic fits in an effort to listen to consumer demands and feedback, so I opted to try the new Fern collection, which is a basic collection from Freya. This does have a lot of the hallmarks of the classic Freya shape. So you have that three section sort of balcony cup shape, um, the underwire with an end shape is, is kind of similar, but they've made some improvements. So let's start. First, the side of this bra has, to me, a little bit more support. I feel like either the fabric or the shape of the cup, maybe both, is ensuring that all of the breast tissue here is directed forward. So as someone with very close set center heavy tissue, I don't like it when a bra tries to push the breast tissue apart or tries to reshape me. My tissue is forward, I'd rather it just be forward. I feel like that improves the overall fit. The fern is doing this very well. So between the added support on the side, as well as the narrow gore in the center and then the deeper cups, I'm getting some excellent forward projection, which is one of the things I look for in a bra. I also like that the Freya is definitely getting a lot of the side tissue that I've developed right here from gaining weight, so I feel like this gives a little bit of a smoother profile, especially underneath tops. The underwire shape is also very nice. As I mentioned, the middle is a little bit narrower, which is good. The sides still go back a little bit far for me, so usually Freya is a little wider. Right now this is maybe only half to three quarter of an inch, so that's actually an improvement from the last time I tried them as well. For me, the underwire extending further back on the side is not necessarily a problem. I'm more concerned with underwire sitting on breast tissue, so as long as it's behind the tissue, even if it's a little bit further behind, that's not a deal breaker. What is a deal breaker is if the underwire sits in such a way that it digs, it pokes, it's uncomfortable, or it pulls the side of the cup so tight into the under part of my arm that it creates chafing or pain. The fern is not doing any of that. The fern is actually really, really comfortable. It feels very lightweight. Um, it is, like I said, a little bit further back, but not overly so. The sides of the cup are higher here than what I'm used to, but it's not in a painful way. So in the store when I'm working with clients, sometimes when we talk about this particular issue, I ask them, does it feel like it's new, as in it's sitting someplace you're not used to it sitting, or does it feel like it's going to cause pain later on? 
Right now, I'm leaning more towards the new side. I've been living in Polish bras, which by nature tend to have that lower side. So it is a little bit different to feel the added fabric towards the top. But when I move my arms forward, which is generally my litmus test here, it doesn't feel like it's pulling uncomfortably. It actually feels like it's giving me enough flexibility to move without pressing uncomfortably into the skin. I also like the shape better of this. So it's more rounded to me. This is definitely a more a profile I would prefer. One of the things that was happening with the Freya bras in the past that were like this, as well as their sister line Fantasy, is I would have this nice rounded bottom shape and then the upper cup would kind of like sharply push my top tissue into a point. And I don't necessarily mean a point in a bad way, I mean it was kind of facing my breasts downward, like they were sort of looking at my toes. And I did not like that. That was not a profile that was really something I wanted. With the fern, I'm getting that lifted bottom, but it's also sort of roundly shaped here at the top. It's not pushing the tissue very sharply. It's actually allowing the tissue to be very rounded. I think it looks very nice under clothes. It's not quite as forward and in your face as Comexum, but I think it's nice to have some different style bras in your wardrobe, and this is a great shape for me. It looks good under t-shirts. It looks nice underneath some of my more fitted tops. So overall, I really like the fit of this. I also really like the shape that it's giving me. Materials-wise, this is an excellent price point. So this is a $58 bra. In the Fuller Bust market, that's starting to become a little bit of a unicorn. Bra prices are on the rise. It's in part because of materials and labor costs. So even some of your favorite bras that may have been in that $58 mark are starting to go into $60, $65 even. So to have this wonderful $58 price point is lovely. The materials are definitely on par with that. It uses these standard even-in power net mesh wings in the back. You have that same gauge underwire that you're used to with Freya and Fantasy. Um, it also has a nice rigid two-section cup at the bottom. As I mentioned earlier, it definitely fits nice and snug on the side to redirect the tissue. This upper part is actually a kind of sheer mesh with like a lovely little polka dot inspired design. It's not flexible. It is definitely a little bit firmer, so if you have a lot of upper fullness, this is not going to give a little bit more. And I would love to see in the future, although this isn't a critique of Fern, that Freya take a note from their Lomi line and actually create some of the fuller bust bras with maybe a stretch lace top. This would actually be a nice one to kind of work with maybe to have stretch lace. I also like that when they did the materials here, the center gore is lower than what they're usually. It's actually missing this little bit of connective tissue I have, and it's not overly firm. It's not tacking super hard. It doesn't feel like it's pressing and bruising my sternum in any way. So the materials themselves are fantastic. The straps are also a nice touch. So as you see, they are pretty wide. I like a wide strap because I feel as if it gives added support. It also disperses the weight of the bust across a larger surface area, much the same way as a wider wing does. So when you have that wider strap, it tends to not dig or press into the sensitive tissues here. It's also not overly stretchy either. Again, another thing that can contribute to digging. The straps are fully adjustable too. I think that's an exceptionally important thing in a fuller bust bra because you have a lot of ladies who are petite or short-waisted who need to have the ability to tighten that down as much as possible. And I like that Freya was conscientious enough to do that. Now on the flip side of having a wide strap is wide straps tend to show a little bit more underneath tops that have very open necklines or tanks. However, this does have a nice little texture to it. So one of the things that I've seen a lot in the shop lately is requests for bras that have straps that if they show, it's not a big deal. So either they look like cami straps or there's something texturally interesting to them that it makes it okay if they wind up peeking out. With white, I mean, white is kind of is plain, but the black variation of this with the texture, I think it would totally look like you had a different shirt on or it would just be something that's kind of like a little peek out. So I like that they managed to be both practical, having the wide fully adjustable strap, but also pretty at the same time with that little bit of texture. Aesthetic wise, I think this is very cute. It's kind of a cream and white base. It reads more white. It has a little bit of a print at the bottom. You have that polka dot, you have your matching bows. I already mentioned the textured straps. It's a very pretty bra. Sometimes when you tend into that more basic $58 mark, the bras can be just a little bit just boring, more or less. Mostly because you have to sacrifice those bells and whistles in order to be able to get a size range and get better materials to improve support. 
So with Fern, Fern is actually part of an overall core collection with Freya. The other color that it's available in is a charcoal black kind of combo. I do have one, not necessarily critique, but a note about some of the Freya core stuff. First off, I love that they're doing it. It's very hard as a retailer sometimes when you have a brand that is exceptionally fashion forward and very fashion dominant because you feel like you're constantly chasing the next season. It makes it hard for anybody who likes that brand to find something that's neutral. We all love pretty bras, or at least most of us love pretty bras, but we typically also need some neutrals in the mix as well. And if you love a particular brand and all they're giving you is printed in bright colored bras, it becomes challenging to find something that's gonna work underneath lighter colored tops and so on. I like that Frey is addressing that. In fact, I love that. But this is another core collection that Frey is doing, Hero is, is one of the first ones, where your neutral colors are kind of white and black. I would like to see them add something in the mix that would be a little bit closer to a skin tone color. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that standard even in beige. It can be something darker, maybe like the Chi Chi color that I reviewed um, from Sculptress at the end of the year. It can be something a little bit different. But white, while beautiful and really pops, while white is really beautiful and it pops against other skin tones, it's just it's not always good underneath light colored tops. It would be nice to have something that would maybe blend a little bit better. I mean, if you have you know, medium or lighter skin tone, the white just isn't gonna work, and the darker charcoal isn't gonna work either. So that's not necessarily a critique of fern per se, but I hope to see a little bit more of that neutral color somewhere in the Freya Core collection. It doesn't have to be fern, uh, fern, it could be hero, it could be something else. But just wanted to throw that out there in case you were looking at this as an option for a basic neutral colored bra. Overall, I have to give my hats off to Freya yet again. They are really listening to their customers. They are trying to make their bras better, and it's very evident that they are starting to succeed here. So fantastic. I love the new fern style here. It's great. Um, overall, excellent bra. So if you ever have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to email me at sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our blog, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram for all the latest news and event information. Thanks for watching.